Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to go over some of the misconceptions that we're having. There are some confusions in regards to the pool on the GUI. I know in my last video that I did, I said that we couldn't move the pool. We couldn't delete it from the GUI. Apparently someone had reached out to me and mentioned that we can and it has to be done through the config file. So stay with me on this one. So I did a bunch of testing. So the one thing I wanted to point out is you can delete a pool from the GUI from the config file, which is I'm gonna show you in a little bit on my test machine. But what happens is when it's only empty, you don't run into any problems. But if you had plots assigned to that pool, because it's impossible to transfer it, let's just put it that way. The only thing you can do, which I've tested so far, is let's just say you had two pools and they're in the same uh, they're actually two different pools that you joined right and you, you're creating plots for both of them the way you could change pool is that on that first pool you, you have a very you have a specific web address and then the second pool you have another web address if you wanted to combine those two there's no way of doing that so you would have to go change pool and then just put in the address that you want to join and they're both feeding into that one pool but you have like two instances of it i'm going to show you that i'm going to demonstrate that very quickly and what i mean so let's go into that one right now all right guys so we have three pools going on right here one is the self pooling which is the solo farming space pool and i have a pool that garden now we can remove any one of these from the config file and then of course you will have to close out the application and then restart it again it will disappear the only time that you run into a problem is when you have plots assigned to any one of these because when you have plots assigned to it it's not like you can transfer the plots over to another location the thing is is like let's just say i had 10 plots here for pool.space and i had another 10 plots or 20 plots for pool.garden now i can say okay i don't want to do pool.garden anymore and i wanted to go all in on pool.space which is space pool right so that combine it well it won't actually combine it because what you actually have to do is go to change pool and then enter in the URL that you are using for the space pool and once you do that and it, it goes through its whole process this actually just becomes another instance of pool.space so you'll have two of them here what I wanted to show you guys today and uh, some of the confusion uh, some people were a little confused on how to plot slow, solo uh, same process from my last video I said you need a dash C the contract address is actually you do it the same way you just put in the contract address when you edit from the Mad max file but what I wanted to show you guys today so let's just say I have these three pools right now and I wanted to just get rid of one of them let's just say I wanted to get rid of uh, pool.space so this is the launcher ID we, we can identify that from the config file where it's located in your config yaml your user account.chia mainnet config and I already have that open which is right behind that window once that's opened you want to just click on find and paste in that address that we just copied and it, it locates it right away when you want to remove that from the GUI you have to select it from this dash all the way down all the way to the puzzle hash of it until you see the next uh, authentication public key one this is the one that we're focusing that we're gonna remove this is where the pool dot space is so I'm just gonna hit delete and then of course file and save should be gone okay so let's just close out of that. Just to let you guys know, I've also tried clicking on the keys and then going back into it. It just kind of refreshes it. It doesn't really close out the entire application. So test it that way as well. And it didn't really clear out the pool, but only other way was to really close out the entire application. Wait for it to load back. If there were plots in that pool and I deleted it, it would take a, a little longer. Uh, and I've done that. I had a plot in one plot in a very specific pool that I deleted and I wanted to see what happens to that plot that plot ultimately does not get read anymore meaning you know it was still in the plot directory I noticed the plot was still there I removed that plot directory my total farming number did not change meaning it already had not accounted for it anymore that was just one plot that i kind of forfeited but if you had you know maybe a couple of terabytes of it and you said okay i don't want this pool anymore you have to transfer it. you can't you, you would have to have 
another instance of the same pool that you're already in or you will have to create a you know just assign it to another pool or keep it solo you will have multiple instances of these if if you kept it separate all right let's go back to so my phone note is open this is my test machine right now and if i go back to pool you would notice it takes a little longer because now it's loading and thinking you see how we remove that entire section in the the config.yaml that space pool is no longer here anymore now we have the self pooling which i kept pool that garden which we've also kept that's pretty much doable but unfortunately it's not doable within the gui to remove a pool because i think of that reason is that if you were plotting to that pool you'll run into that situation where you're losing plots because now you can't reassign the nft plots to anything it just has no parent to go with it what happens is if we have plots here and we decide to join a pool or change a pool if you were doing solo or if it was an existing pool this is the parent right the join pool the solo is the parent of those plot because you plot it to it and you will have to reassign it to something but if you delete it entirely you can't assign those old plot because there's nothing to assign it you understand so that's pretty much what i wanted to talk about today i pretty much explained that you know i had four of these going on prior to this test i actually had multiple pools here and i was just testing it by deleting it from the config file which i successfully did and i want to thank and reach out to that comment from my viewer yeah so i wanted to point that out that it's possible that you can remove it from the gui but you have to be really careful if you have existing plots if you have existing plots you will lose those plots if you decide to delete a pool or even a solo farm solo pool i guess they still call it pooling for solo just make sure that if you do have plots assigned to it do not delete any pools or any solo. Just reassign it, change it to another pool that you want to join because if not, you're gonna lose those plots and you just have to replot. So far, I mean, that's exactly from my testing that I've noticed because, and I'll explain again, what I did was I had a single plot in a pool. I deleted that pool before assigning it to a different, you know, I just deleted the entire pool from the config file with that plot with it because i can't take a plot and just put it somewhere else it doesn't move plots it just reassigns the plots within that pool so when you delete that entire pool any amount of those plots just becomes null it just becomes like a like an orphan file almost i went back into my farmer i even removed the directory of where that plot was sitting you know from the pool that i deleted and it didn't readjust that number it, it stayed the same so i believe that's what happens to the plots it just becomes an orphan and becomes useless pretty much think it's useless at that point because i can't recreate unless i can recreate the pool with the same pooling and take that back i'm not sure maybe that's another additional test i didn't think of that earlier actually it's like because it, uh, i just kept thinking like i'm going to delete a pool i don't, I, I don't want all this clutter I didn't think to add it back in, but the launcher ID may change, so I'm not sure how that would work. One thing you could probably do before you just make a backup of your config.yaml, so that way that adds it back with the same exact keys and all that information. You can do it that way as well. Playing around with the GUI, um, obviously there's a lot more work that needs to be done. And of course, as of this recording, 1.2.1 did come out. So there were some bug fixes in regards to that with the pool plots refreshing and then showing that in the pool section. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I wanna thank you guys for always being here. I noticed my channel has been growing a little steadier now with you guys interested more in Chia. Of course, I'll be bringing you awesome, awesome content and I'll stay on top of my game. All right. Thank you guys for being here again. Bye.